bought for a dollar, sold for a dime. I wonder if you understand it. While I run this rain, you got to run my I'm here to talk about my new album, Bought for a Dollar, Sold for a Dime. It all started at a real cool party that we had on the real world lot. Very cool day. There was a lot of energy. I had all my pals around. I had Doug Wimbish, Bernard Fowler, Keith LeBlanc, Kevin Gibbs, Sarah Nella Bell, myself, and a cavalcade of other friends. The party rocked, and um, from the energy of the party, we went into the studio the next day, and I think we cut, no. Let me tell the story right. We went into the studio the next day, and we set up to do a session. And we went in the next day, and we cut 15 tracks, which was the beginning of Bought for a Dollar, Sold for a Dime. From that point, uh, a bit of time has passed. But it's coming out soon, but I've added uh, appearances by Ken Booth. There's been some horns added by the Crispy Horns. There's been some harmonica added by Alan Glenn. And basically this album, it's different than my previous album because it's more a band-led album rather than a studio-led album where we went in and kind of we put all the rhythm tracks down together as a band rather than uh, methodically doing the drums, doing the bass, doing the guitar, doing the vocals, doing the background. So this is more, this is as close as I've ever come to doing a live album in more years than I like to say. I think the most amazing thing about this album and the party and the whole event was the fact that it was the first time that the whole crew of people had actually been in the same place at the same time for I think over seven years. So it was like um, it was like a coming home. I mean, it was there was times of extreme joy, extreme happiness. There was time when um, people would be working on one side of the room, people would be snoring on the other side of the room, and then vice versa. And uh, we had uh, tremendous amounts of space, so we'd be working two areas at once. So it basically came together very, very quickly. And then I think what happened is going back and looking at it, it took us quite a while to make everything fit together quite like we wanted it to. I call myself a time traveler, a scientist and a mathematician. And in these songs you get certain songs that are old hymns, certain songs that I've covered from other albums that I've did that I've taken from old things like um, there's a song called Grinning in Your Face, that's an old Sunhouse song. Some of the songs are actually written by me or collaborations, me and other people, such as Another Friend Is Gone, which is um, a, ded a dedication to all my fallen friends and soldiers in the business that have gone. And Another Friend Is Gone uh, is his name. And um, I get a very special performance from Ken Booth on a song called Can't Sleep At Night. And a wonderful performance by Bernard Fowler on uh, Too Late. I think it's some wonderful songs on the air. Sometimes I have a heartache. Sometimes I hate all over. I know it's because the one I love is gone. Yeah. 
chop out most of that. Sometimes I cry all night And I wake up soaking wet yeah, well. I'm blessed to have the people that are around me, around me And um, I hope this is the beginning of a lot more things like this Sometimes I cry all night And my pillow soaking wet